This is Patrice Wenling at the American College of Cardiology 12 in Chicago, speaking with Dr. Rahit Arora, who just gave a, a very interesting analysis on an N. Haynes analysis of sleep and cardiovascular disease. Doctor, what prompted you to do the analysis? Patrice, we've all, always wondered as cardiologists the amount of sleep that is necessary in order to have a healthy lifestyle, in order to have a lesser chance of heart attack, stroke, or dying because of that. And there has been no prospective data, so we, we figured that we look at a large database, the database you mentioned, the NHANES database, about 10,000 patients, to look at the amount of sleep and the incidence of getting a heart attack or stroke or heart failure. Uh, less sleep is known to be detrimental to health. Was there a particular break point? And then what did you find with less sleep? We, Patrice, we broke our sleep patterns in, into threefold, under six hours, over eight hours, and between six to eight hours. And as you see in, in the presentation of um, our findings, that under six hours led to a higher incidence, two times higher incidence of heart attack and stroke and somewhat higher risk of heart failure. And then we, when we looked at over eight hours, uh, what we found incidentally, that those patients had more coronary artery disease and more angina pectoris, plainly that is chest pains. The finding of more sleep is very provocative. What do you think might be at play there? Yes, and that was also confounding to us. And why is if you sleep more than eight hours, why do you have more coronary artery disease and angina? What it seems to suggest, there is information and data that those patients who sleep uh, more may have other more comorbid conditions like obesity, diabetes, pulmonary disease, COPD, and therefore they may have more underlying CAD. So is it cause or effect? Is more sleep causing these events or more CAD? or is it that they have more CAD and therefore they're sleeping more because of the associated conditions, including socioeconomic circumstance. That is not clear at the present point in time. Do you think there should be recommendation regarding sleep and cardiovascular health? I do believe based on this information, our study, and a lot of information from some other studies for sleep, that the optimal timing should be between six to eight hours. Patrice Winling from American College of Cardiology 12 in Chicago.